Hey, hey, Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your March 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you are interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Cancer, your key themes for the month of March, you have new life choices and family powerful trio here it makes sense as march is the beginning of the astrological year right we start off with the spring equinox and airy season so there are big changes coming in here for you but i feel like there are choices to be made you're going through a major transitioning process some of you this is as big as a move it could be maybe adding family. Some of you, there could be news of a pregnancy or an actual birth. There could be marriage, engagements, divorce. I feel like a lot is going on for you this month. You have not only one, but four major arcanas. You had a bonus major arcana that came out here as well. So a lot happening for you in the month of March that's leading to major transformation, which is showing up here for you as well as the death card okay so whatever these changes are they are big milestones in your life milestones that possibly you've been waiting to manifest for quite some time for some of you years maybe this is your dream home starting a family finding the love of your life getting married whatever it may be for you this is part of your divine path but because you have the temperance showing up here you had to learn some lessons possibly the hard way now, Cancer, this is about big changes, a rebirth, a fresh start here. You're heading towards a new journey, and this journey is full of growth because we have the Empress showing up here and Mother Nature. So I absolutely feel like there's growth, there's abundance, there's prosperity ahead for you, but there's going to be some choices to make. Should I stay in this location or go elsewhere? Should I connect with this family member at this time or do I move forward in a new direction? Do I leave my career and retire or do I wait another year? So these are big changes that are occurring here for you to have this new beginning. But you're asking yourself all the right questions is what I'm getting here because the choice card is about decision making. It is about options and I feel like you do have some new options here because you have the ace of pentacles that leads you into more growth and more abundance this is about free will as well and some of you it's all about feeling between worlds and maybe that's why your first card out here is temperance which actually says karma here and this is one of the laws of the universe the law of cause and effect so it can be moderation it can be balance it may even feel like you're going between worlds at this time but some of you again maybe you've gone through a karmic relationship or some karmic soul lessons that your soul came here to grow from in order to put you on this path of happiness and abundance okay so I definitely see here that family could be involved whether this is external family family that doesn't live with you but it could be family that lives with you as well this may have to do with your ancestors ancestral healing I'm getting an energy here of like birth home or birth country. It can't even be some sort of inheritance due to maybe a, a loss in the family. Okay, maybe there is an inheritance coming in. And we see here on the death card, the transitioning from, you know, life basically to life again, right? After loss, but it's not necessarily loss that I see here for you. Maybe that was the case in the past, but I feel like you built upon a new foundation. Some of you have even broken some ancestral karmic cycles and patterns. That's very important, Cancer, and you know this to be true for you, for those of you that this resonates with. This is about stability, right? It could be about legacy as well. And we actually have the Ten of Pentacles in your energy, which is about legacy. So some of you could be leaving behind a legacy for your family. You may be looking at retirement accounts. You may be looking at wills, trust funds, things of that nature here as well. Maybe for your family or maybe your parents are 
setting this up for you or you're diving into it here. I'm also getting a lot of fertility in this reading. So if you are in the childbearing, you know, ages or realm and that's something you are wanting, great month for you to manifest. Whether there is an actual birth in the physical or it's just the seeds being planted, which I see here, you could be laying down some roots. These are the seeds. Now, I also sense that for those of you who are wanting to maybe have a new life and lay roots someplace new, whether it's a new location, a new business, a new job, a new career, maybe you're helping families. Some of you could be a family therapist. Some of you may even be following in the footsteps of a family member. You could have a child that falls in your footsteps and does something that is maybe humanitarian or maybe a healer aspect. I feel like you are the role model but I also see some ancestral wisdom coming in to help you. Why and how? Because you have the shadow work at the bottom of the deck. This was showing up as subconscious. It's something that you have been working on for quite some time. Maybe that's why you have the temperance card here, Sagittarian energy, because you had to learn patience. You had to learn the art of self-control and the laws of cause and effect, karma, basically. When the temperance card shows up, it can be going to extremes in our emotions. It is blending as well, fire and water. So I feel that you've had to work on blending your, you know, your emotions with the, what inspires you, but also not getting burned in the meantime, being able to find that balance and have that water kind of put out that, that burn or that fire if need be. But how can you oscillate? How can you take a look at, you know, maybe the shadow aspect and the light aspect? Because each and every one of us have this duality here on earth. It's part of the, the free will. It's part of our human experience. This is about inner healing cancer. It's about post-traumatic stress disorder. It could be therapy. Some of you have went through a lot of therapy. You've went through a lot of uh, buried emotions that may have been part of maybe some deep trauma, the ego self, or even addictions. Some of you, this is family addictions. But you have a choice to do something different this time around. So because you have so many major arcanas, this isn't a small month for you. It's not just going to be like, you know, maybe February or January. You have some choices to make. And I feel like this is part of your path. It's part of your destiny. Now, your first card out here, again, is temperance, which the key word here is karma, which is interesting. But when you look at the polarities, when you look at the law of cause and effect, you realize that for every action, there is a reaction, right? And so I feel like you are taking a look at some situations that you've gone through in the past that may have been a little bit intense, or maybe you did go to the extremes, or maybe you had some lessons to learn about your own emotions, as it mentions here in the shadows. But I really like that uh, temperance is showing up here because you have, in a way, mastered the art of balance or patience or self-control. And it doesn't mean that sometimes you're not going to fly off the handle, but it means for the most part, you're able to kind of temper what you need to in order to... Make choices that are in your highest good. But sometimes we have to learn, and that's through karma. All right, so you have the death card transitioning. As you can see here, it shows up as an infinity symbol. Okay, we see that infinity symbol that represents almost an eight, right? And we are in an eight year, 2024. So Cancer, what I get for you is infinite possibilities. And some of you are transforming yourselves. I mean, we're always transforming ourselves. We're never going to stay at this baby level because we're growing. We are evolving. We are learning. We are gaining the necessary knowledge or education to gain wisdom about our soul's path, about who we are in our careers, in our relationships. So a lot of you have went through a major ending of an old lifestyle or an old way of being that may have required a lot of you to gain a sense of self-control or to maybe it felt like compromise here. 
But I see that with this death energy showing up, there is an ending to an old way of doing things. It could be an ending to a belief system. It could be an ending of a job or a marriage or a relationship or, you know, an ending of being single, an ending of not being a parent, right? Um, or, well, gosh, how do I say that? An ending of being maybe you weren't you didn't have children and now you are moving into having children so that's an ending of a, an old lifestyle okay so a lot of transitions happening here but don't resist them and i feel like you're opening to the infinite possibilities that are available and you're laying down your roots in a new path a new direction here in the physical realm you have the ace of pentacles showing up here and you see someone could have green eyes as well but you are laying down some sort of foundation. This is also another card of inheritance or a gift of money. So some of you, I see this coming in for you. If you're waiting for some sort of inheritance or if you have been waiting for your retirement or waiting for yourself to make a big decision in matters of the physical realm because pentacles are earthly they're physical it could pertain to your finances your material gains your prosperity your health and your body i see that some of you are changing your your body in some way shape or form as well because i think i think i've seen the body card coming in here yeah you have an, an energy here of paying attention to the body and so there is some sort of new beginnings happening around your body and i feel like you're paying attention you're listening and that's part of a choice you don't have to listen to your body but what happens when you don't right if you don't listen to your body telling you to slow down, it can manifest in some sort of disease. Maybe it's small as a, a stub toe, reminding you, Cancer, to slow down. Did I just call you Gemini? I hope not. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or you're on that Gemini cusp. But Cancer, I do feel here that your body is, is guiding you as well. So do pay attention. Pay attention to where there is... Maybe pain in the body or pay attention to the signs and symbols that your body is telling you because your body is your temple, your vehicle here on earth helping you, right? And sometimes we disconnect from our body because we don't like what it's doing. We don't like how it's feeling. We don't like, you know, what it's, you know, concocting, but it's guiding us to get in touch with who we are and it's here to help us. It's our best friend. All right, let's look here. We have... The Ace of Pentacles can be about a new career as well. So I feel for some of you, uh, this is the beginning of something in the material world. Whether it is a new job offer, it can be a new family member entering the world, it could be a move as well. I do see here again, I gotta say it because it's showing up, something with abundance, money, a payout, payback, maybe a tax refund. It could be a, a, a legacy or an inheritance, something of that nature coming in where it may help you out, it may help you make a choice because even though there is the cliche of money is the root of all evil, right? Well, if that's what you believe, then maybe it is for you, but that doesn't have to be the belief, right? Money is an energy. What you feed it, what you put into it is what you're gonna return back. That is karma, the law of cause and effect, right? What you put out there, you shall receive in this lifetime or the next. And we have here Mother Nature. This is the Empress energy, Cancer. And this is someone who's very highly creative. She's very abundant. I mean, think about the resources that we have here on planet Earth. Do we fully know how to utilize all the resources? Or are we in maybe a lack mentality of needing more and more and more. Now, some of you, I feel like you, you do need a little bit more. I see that here, you do need something, but you're getting it. Make sure that you either spread the wealth, spread the knowledge, share what you've accomplished. It doesn't have to be monetary, it does not have to be money, but I feel like the more you receive, the more you're putting out there. That's that re law of reciprocity as well. And Mother Nature is bountiful. She's plentiful. She has plenty in her garden to feed everyone. 
and there is a big energy of abundance hitting you right in your, you know, right in your backyard. It's lands in here for you, but you've also put in the work. You've also gone through that transition and those transitions aren't easy, Cancer. And with this emperor showing up, nurture that, you know, garden, take care of your garden. You got to go in there and you got to pull those weeds. Not always fun, right? You got to go in there and prune. You got to go in there and pick. So there's work to be had, but it's work that's going to be worth it because it's leading you straight towards this bountiful abundance. And you see the sun in the background. I mean, this imagery is just phenomenal. There is a woman holding up the world here. So the world is your oyster. I'm also being guided to see the turtles. It almost looks like a Lisa Frank um, illustration, doesn't it? It's just such a beautiful energy here. And you can see the two turtles at both side, sides. And so there is an energy here of protection, but also slow and steady. A garden doesn't grow vegetables and fruits overnight, but the garden relies on the resources available, the sun, which we see, the rain, patience, and we see the rain clouds in the back. We see the rain in the back. It requires a sense of trust, of clarity with the owls in the background. It, it's a, a sense of peace as well with the swans. So whatever you're tapping into here, Cancer, this is beautiful. You also have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is privilege, sometimes known as the Wall Street card. This is also known as, you know, the, the dream the dream of freedom, of liberation, of retirement, of being able to open yourself up to this portal. And you can see the ivy or the flowers kind of crawling on this trellis and their steps leading upwards. And these steps are red. So it's, it's coming to a place of stability here. There's the root showing up. It's interesting to note how you get from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this could be a branch of something you've already created or already started. Maybe it has been a long time coming with the Temperance. This can be the card of marriage, of sacred matrimony, okay? Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is about stability, financial security, building a legacy, long-term goals, inheritance, and family. And you have that showing up here as well. So there's a lot of growth here, but you've had to face the shadows. You've had to take a good look in the mirror, which is interesting because that's your final outcome card here is the mirror. So you have your bonus cards. Uh, this was your final card, but the understanding the star major arcana shot out so not only do you have the death card the temperance the empress you have the star and you also have the dream weaver and this is the king of swords beautiful energy look at this he has the parrot that is nug uh, kind of nuggling in his ear. He has the frog that's looking right at him. He has the black cat that's laying on his, his arm there. And he also has uh, the sheep. So even though this dream weaver showing up as this king of cups, excuse me, king of cups. Did I say king of swords? I'm still getting used to this deck. It's very new. It's very, it's an amazing deck. Check out the description box below. But this is the King of Cups. You can see that he's very compassionate. He's very nurturing. He's soft. He's gentle with the sheep. But yet he's independent and fierce like this black feline. He has, you know, maybe his child laying on his chest there, wrapped up, safe. But he also has the frog, which is about purification. It's about being able to transform the energies and Go with the flow instead of resistance. And then he has that parrot again in his ear. It's the quality of his own self-talk. Because the king of cups here, king of cups energy, is someone who is very supportive. He's emotionally intelligent, patient, compassionate, kind. He doesn't let his emotions overrule him because he knows what that feels like, because it's been a lifetime of effort, making sure his emotions don't drag him under. Emotions such as depression, anxiety, resentment, bitterness, but it's also about feeling the, the other side of emotions, such as happiness and joy and you know liberation. 
you're healing a lot here, Cancer, and there is a deep understanding around your emotions now that maybe you didn't have in the past, okay? And it may be a deep understanding of ancestral wisdom, and that may be leading you towards this new life, but you have a choice. What do you want to do with this newfound wisdom? Because that's what it is here. You're healing. You are inspiring to go big, right? Go bold. This is the energy here of the star of guidance and positivity and hope and dreams, right? The stars aligning to really bring about a lot of happiness and love into your world. So this is magnificent. I mean, yes, you've gone through endings, transitions, and it's been a long time coming. But I see here in the month of March, you're laying down the, the groundwork for a beautiful relationship or a beautiful new connection to something in the physical it could be your body, uh, the body mind connection here as well. And it's based out of love. And I feel like that's the choice you're going to make here. What would love do? You're taking a look, of course, at your intuition, but a lot of times your, you know, your feelings do play right into your intuition. And I do feel here that you've learned to temper them. You've learned to balance them. That's why you're able to listen to your intuition more so now than maybe in the past, okay? Because you've gone through trauma and that can mask the intuition. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's take a look at career, finances, wealth, and money. You have the treasure, a lot of Ten of Pentacles energy here. Someone's getting some sort of big payout or a major beginning due to some sort of ending. You have the coins coming in and you have the light bulb moment. Maybe the light bulb moment is what leads you towards some treasure. Some of you may have a career as an executive. Maybe you work in sales. Some of you also are honing in on your spiritual gifts by working with your ancestors. And this is important, especially for those of you that have contracted with specific family members where it's been difficult. You may be thinking, Melissa, I don't want to work with my ancestors, but we also not only need to be grateful for the shadows, there's light there as well. You've learned a lot and there's good that comes from a situation, even if your, you know, your ancestors or your parents or your family, it felt very difficult for you. Our ancestors are also people we haven't met, people that go back generation upon generation. They're here to help. After all, we chose that specific family to incarnate into and to grow and to maybe even work on some karma together. So this is about hidden talents. Some of you, because of some sort of death energy, have opened yourself up to more spiritual gifts that you could have ever imagined. And those spiritual gifts could be the ticket here to your new life, right? Trusting in your intuition, maybe leaving that job or that relationship you've been in for 20 years and going off on a new path and trusting your newfound journey, okay? I do see you've been planning. You see that here on the treasure, planning your retirement, planning long-term, taking a look at your goals, taking a look at what choices you have to embrace this new life. Some of you are entrepreneurs or that is the direction you are headed. You have genius ideas, Cancer. This is a new income source. This is feeling inspired, feeling creative, especially with that Empress, right? Entrepreneurship. This is a new job, one that you love, one that fulfills you. Possibly with that King of Cups, this could be a therapist, a doctor, a coach, a mentor, a healer of some sort, or just someone who loves what they do. And it's creative as well because they're tapping into their, you know, their inspiration. They're tapping into those feelings of, you know, joy and happiness. What inspires you? And you have the coins. Again, I just cannot shake that feeling here of strong monies coming in. Or some of you, please take this as it resonates, some of you may have had a past life energy, whether it was this lifetime or the past. It could be, you know, early on, maybe the first part of your life where maybe you grew up in a very poor dynamic where the second half of your life or this next lifetime, that would be this lifetime, you've 
reaped some sort of karma because maybe you were a beggar, maybe you stole, maybe you had to learn lessons around your coins, your pentacles, right? I feel like you are and have contracted with your soul to be successful in money this next portion of your life here on earth. Okay, take that as it resonates, okay? But it's almost like in your DNA, you are meant for success. And that may be part of what your ancestors are bringing you here as well. Some of you, again, are in sales. Uh, this is money coming in. This is major wealth. This is privilege. I mean, 10 of, of pentacles is the card of privilege. So some of you could be going to an institution and you actually see, and I didn't even notice this until these two cards are put together here, but look at that if you have a moment. Take a look at the illustration there. Right behind that 10 of pentacles there, you see the divine feminine and masculine, the coming together, but what is in the background? It's a bunch of those coins. And it looks just like all those coins there. So there is special privilege here. I don't wanna say special, because we have all have access to it, but something that you've really, uh, you've, you've set yourself up for. All right, when it comes to love, what do we have here, Cancer? Mm. Wedding or marriage could be involved, and we see that with the Ten of Pence. That can be a card of marriage. Uh, this situation does involve some sort of high level of commitment of some way, shape, or form. A lot of you are already in a marriage, or maybe you've ended one, or you're coming out of one here. For others of you, I feel like you have this Ace of Pentacles. This could be a situation where you move in together and you do get married. You do have family. Maybe three months later, you you know you're asked to marry this person. Whatever this is here going on, it does involve again a higher level of commitment that's leading to family and new life. You could also be attending a wedding here or you get a wedding invite in the month of March. Maybe you are part of the bridal party as well. You have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So honeymoon, it could even be by the next holiday. Uh, I'm not sure what holidays are in March that may even be out of the US, but it could be that some of you are just retreating. Maybe you're traveling, going on spring break, taking a vacation. You're just disconnecting. And I feel like this is very important and very vital to your energy, whether it's with someone, whether it's with family, a lover, or by yourself. March is the month that you either get away or you start to plan on just taking a little bit of a step back. I also get the message here of some of you disconnecting from social media, or maybe you've disconnected from someone, maybe family or someone that was once part of family. Maybe you have been disconnected or you, you are the one that disconnected from them. There could be a reconciliation, okay? This could be a blast from the past. It does not have to be an X, okay? I wanna clarify that so nobody screams in the comments. Uh, this can be someone, anyone from the past, a family member. It could be a memory that shows up on one of your social media feeds that brings in a memory of the, pla uh, the past, okay? And maybe this leads you to a new choice. Remember, for every action, there's a reaction. And there is law of cause and effect. And there is, you know, growth with everything. We have free will. How do we want to respond? We can only control what is within our own energy. And so if you want to reconcile, that's up to you. No one else, right? If you have a memory, how you respond to it is up to you. No one else. And I feel like there definitely could be something that shows up from the past. Maybe that's part of the shadow here. But I feel like you're looking at it from a new point of view, a new perspective here, a new energy. You're looking at it from emotional maturity. Now, not calling anyone out here, Cancer, even though we have the King of Cups, which is your watery sign, you've matured in ways that are honorable, that are admirable, okay? Pat yourself on the back. You've come a long way, and it doesn't mean that you're never gonna have a slip now and then or let your emotions get the best of you. But you, you are in a completely different spot than you were, say, you know, 5, 10, 20 years ago. Maybe even 5 months ago. So take a look at whatever this reconciliation is within yourself and choose maybe a new path, a new direction. That's why you have the choice card. All right, what does your soul want you to know at this time? You have, to whom am I comparing myself right now? 
What you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. Wow, that literally goes hand in hand with the shadow card here. All that you need, Cancer, and want is already within you. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating. Yeah, when we get lost in that comparing or judgment energy, that's bad. Well, I don't want to say bad karma. It's not bad nor good. It is what it is based on what how we respond. But it is karma nonetheless. So you're being asked here to create, right? Stop comparing. Let's not go back to the past. Let's not, you know, unless there's a lesson that's unlearned, you don't want to repeat it. I feel like there's a new direction for you. That's why you have new life. And this is about creating that new life. All right, next up you have, what is my body telling me right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions, the lurking fears, and the beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Hence the star energy here as well and this major transition. So for some of you that have had maybe a health concern or a health issue, maybe it has been uh, maybe even passed down family. Maybe you had other family members that suffered from this same health ailment, physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it may be. I feel like your body is trying to tell you something. So get that checked out. Okay. Look further into us. Don't wait. That's an important message. And it says here, get the book, heal your body by Louise Hay. Excellent book, by the way. I think I have three copies at my office and here. So I feel like it is important for you to really Take a look at the metaphysical reason behind your ailments, okay? So this is about you finding the answers toward which your body is guiding you at this time. All right, next you have, what do you believe? What are your money beliefs? Do your beliefs match your dreams? How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe that you're worthy? Do you believe that you're capable? Do you trust money and does money trust you? Money is an energy. Yeah, we just talked about this. Money is an energy and it ebbs and it flows. You are worthy of it. And it's your responsibility, Cancer, to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Like I said, some of you came from rags. Rags to riches is kind of what I get. Maybe rags in a past life to riches or in this lifetime, you've hit a rock bottom in money, but you've built yourself up. I do get that strong energy here of having enough. And riches doesn't mean being a millionaire, right? Riches is rich in abundance, rich in friendships, rich in family, rich in love. There are so many more riches in life aside from just money. Yes, money helps right? But it's so much more than that. Today is soul action. Take a deep dive into your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs that you need to upgrade to create the results you're wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because blank. Drop that in the comment section below the video. I am grateful for money because blank. Maybe you're grateful because it puts a roof over your head. Maybe you're able to grow your business. Maybe you're able to retire. Whatever it is for you, I want you to drop it in the comments. The more that you put that energy out there, right? The more that you believe in it, the more that you embrace it, the better off you are. And for those of you that enter I am grateful to money because blank, I'll enter you into the free reading giveaway. All right, now last but not least, my new favorite deck, The Wild Unknown Archetype by Kim Kranz. Uh, two new decks we're using today, but this one is The Mirror, right? And this is showing up for you, which makes complete sense with that shadow because it almost looks like, you know, they're looking in the mirror. <coughs> So this could be a relationship that was mirrored to you and that got brought up a few times in your reading. 
And for those of you that are interested in any of the decks used, everything is in the description box below. So with the mirror here, Cancer, it's all about the reflection, the illusion, and the looking glass. When it shows up in the upright, which it actually did, it showed up, well, maybe a little bit to the side, but mostly in the upright, which makes sense because you have a lot of really abundant energies after maybe a time of loss or patience or waiting. And it's here. This is about witnessing the deeper self. It's about full and pure awareness. When it does show up in the reverse, it can be narcissism. It can be comparison and harsh edges. Okay, so this is, you know, infinity. How do we want to look at the world? Do we want to look at it as this transitioning, right? There is no, there is no death when we look at the death card. Death is an energy that scares us, right? It scares us because endings are scary. And we think, well, what else? What else is possible is what you should ask yourself, right? All energy is, is a transitioning, right? It's transitioning into something else. We can't kill energy, right? Energy doesn't just get cut off, it transmutes. And I feel like that's what you are doing within your own self. And the message is this, we look into mirrors every day without recognizing them as portals into another realm. They can shatter, flatter, distort, reflect, and project an image back to us that we deem to be true. The energy of the mirror is all about self-perception. When the archetype of the mirror appears, we are in the mythic land of Narcissus, who saw himself reflected in a pool and fell in love with his own image so compelled by his reflection he could not turn away a fixation that eventually led to his death recognize the power and danger of the mirror it is a construct one that may drive a shard between you and your true self the mirror contains trickster energy put the phone down stop with the comparisons and let the mirror stand empty for a while rest with the one inside. Whew. Cancer, I don't know about you, but I got major goosebumps. Okay, so some of you were dealing with a narcissist and because of that, maybe some of you have had to work on some healing work around maybe comparing because that's one of the cards out here, right? We have, yeah, to whom am I comparing myself? So huh, what a synchronistic card to have here as well as all of them typically are, right? It says here, for further reflections, read the poem, I Am Not I, I Am Not I, by Juan Jimenez and Yoko Ono's Mirror Piece in Grapefruit, okay? Those are maybe some recommendations that could help you out. And it says, speak to yourself gently and kindly in the mirror. It will feel awkward at first, but it is a sure way to become friends with yourself, okay? I do get here, because you're showing up in the light, you have the sense of awareness that you didn't have before. And maybe this karma here was with a narcissist or maybe part of the lesson was around comparing. It is something here deeply shadowed that you've had to go through that brought you to a deeper place within yourself. But you are coming out on the other side and you're coming out a more kind, more compassionate, more understanding human because of it cancer. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. I hope that resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to drop your message in the comment section below the video. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, please do so. Thank you so very much for your time, your support, your love and energy, cancer. Till next time.